Welcome to another CCH Pro System FX Practice Management training video. This video will review the steps required to enter a new client into Practice Management. New clients are entered in the Administration module under the List section for Clients. Simply click the New Client button to open the Client Setup screen. Enter the client information in the spaces provided. Please note that the client name that is entered here will be the name that appears on client invoices and AR statements. If the physical address happens to be the same as the mailing address, simply click this button here to move it to the mailing tab. Then enter a client code and possibly an engagement code. Now use diligence here as once you enter something in these fields and click the OK button, these fields gray out and can no longer be changed. They can be alphanumeric and we do recommend as a best practice that you keep your client and engagement codes uniform so that they're easier to see, read, and search for from the client list. Use the mailing tab to identify a mailing address if it differs from the physical address we previously have entered. Then enter the FEIN or Social Security numbers on the Federal ID tab. Notice that you may enter up to three different phone numbers as well as a client email and a client web address. On the Profile Description tab, enter the fiscal year-end month, which by the way is critical when tracking projects and practice management. Practice management looks to this field to determine the due date for any projects that have been created for this client. So if this date is incorrect, so will the due dates of any projects that are created. Then identify the department, the entity type, the work type, the NEIC code, and the line of business for the client. Now, it is important to note that these are not required fields, but I do want to mention the more information that you put into practice management, the more information you're going to get out of practice management on screen and in reports. Use the Staff tab to assign certain staff members to this client, such as who's the primary partner, secondary partner, responsible person, and the like. The Billing tab can be used to define any engagement fees for the client or fixed fee for the client, even any credit limits or WIP limits. You can even define this client's own default invoice format if it differs from the decision that was made at the firm level. Use the Billing Fees tab to define any billing agreements or ongoing progress bills for your client. And the Status tab can be used to identify the status of the client and which office they belong to. The tracking button is used to include any contacts for this particular client. Simply click the new button and enter in the contacts information here. If you would like to email the client invoices or AR statements to the contact, simply enter a valid email in this space provided here and check the checkboxes here and here. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. For additional training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.